magnetic fields. The force exerted by an MR magnet on a magnetizable object depends on the degree to which the magnetic field changes spatially. This spatial change can be quite abrupt for shielded, high field magnets. The attractive force is powerful and arises suddenly. A metal chain is clamped to this cord. As the person approaches the system, the adjustable range becomes horizontal. Another experiment can be performed with a 1.5T and a 3T system. A scale shows the different forces on both systems. Compared to the weight of the scissor, the attractive forces are 50 and 100 times higher. Magnetic fields from MRI systems are not directly perceptible and their dangers are often underestimated. They exert an enormous attractive force on magnetic objects and objects containing magnetizable material. Can you imagine approaching the magnet with a set of keys in your pocket? Or forgetting to remove change, your lighter, or your pocket knife? And what about the dressing scissors? Ferromagnetic objects are attracted by the magnet and often cannot be held back. See for yourself. This melon simulates a patient's head. A hammer is accelerated toward the magnet and becomes a dangerous projectile. The magnetic field also influences watches, magnetic data storage media, and precision mechanical devices. When bringing devices and objects into the examination room, ensure in advance that they are not attracted to the magnet. Ensure you do not have any metallic objects on or in your body before entering the examination room. In an emergency, it is very important to know which non-magnetic rescue tools are available. Be informed. Magnetizable objects on the patient can result in significant errors. This also applies to magnetizable objects that remain unnoticed in the magnet. If possible, remove such objects from the magnet and notify your service engineer immediately. Remember, individuals with implants are affected by the magnetic field. For example, pacemakers are not allowed to enter the examination room. The same applies to metal implants or other objects in the body, such as prosthesis, which are not MR safe. Remove all metal objects, electric data carriers, mobile phones, and all watches. It is also forbidden to use fire extinguishers and oxygen tanks with magnetizable metal casing inside the examination room. These objects are MR safe. This means objects in the MR environment which present no additional risk to the patient or other people, but may affect the quality of the diagnostic information. These objects are MR compatible. This means they are MR safe in the MR environment and do not significantly affect the quality of the diagnostic information, nor is their operation affected by the MR device. They are specially labeled and can be used without consideration. Attention! Only use equipment in the MR examination room which is MR safe or MR compatible. Patient preparation and examination. Each MR facility should provide careful patient information in order to avoid surprises during the examination and to prevent risks for patients with contraindications. Patients entering the magnet room must be thoroughly checked and must fill out a screening form prior to an MR exam. A detailed questionnaire is essential. This includes obtaining a comprehensive medical history for each patient. Here are some of the most important questions. Does the patient have any allergies? Is the patient susceptible to seizures? For example, epilepsy. Has the patient had prior surgeries? Does the patient have any passive or active implants? For example, clips or a pacemaker in his or her body? Does the patient have war injuries, for example, from shell fragments? Does the patient have any occupational diseases or injuries caused by welding or contact with iron? Does the patient have any tattoos or body piercing? Does the patient belong to one of the following risk groups? Does the patient suffer from claustrophobia or mental disorientation? Is the patient from the intensive care unit? Is the patient traumatized? Is the patient a child? Does the patient have inadequate thermoregulation that will prevent his or her body from releasing heat during the MR examination? In the above cases, special attention must be paid to the medical history. All questions in the medical history questionnaire must be clearly answered. 
It must be signed by the patient, as well as by medical personnel directing the patient care. If the patient is not able to answer the questions accurately, a family member should be consulted and must also sign, or the patient's legal guardian. These questionnaires are to be added to the medical record. The physician cannot make a decision on whether an MR examination should be performed unless the questionnaire has been completely filled out. When examining pregnant women, an informed consent must be obtained by the physician before imaging. Pay attention that MR examinations may be contraindicated for patients with the following characteristics. Patients with certain implants, for example, pacemakers, ferromagnetic aneurysm clips, certain implanted electronic devices, certain electronic neurostimulators, cochlear implants, and other hearing systems. Patients who do not know what type of implant or foreign object is in their body must undergo an X-ray or CT exam prior to the MR exam. Only after the physician has precluded all risk to the patient may the patient enter the examination room. Before entering the examination room, patients are required to remove the following objects from their person. Cell phones, beepers, watches, jewelry, hearing aids, garments with metallic fasteners, hooks, wires, or threads, metallic patches delivering medication, barrettes, hairpins, wigs, and prosthesis. Makeup and deodorants containing metal alloys must also be removed. The patient should wear clothing made of natural fibers and free of metal parts. In most cases, the clinic provides appropriate garments. Before positioning the patient, ensure that the coils and the cables are in proper condition. Defective coils can cause localized burns. Discuss with the patient possible allergic reactions to the contrast medium. This is especially important in the case of pregnant women and lactating mothers. While positioning, be sure not to trap any hair or crush extremities. Always ensure there is sufficient separation between the patient and the magnet bore. Always use the appropriate positioning devices for the safety and comfort of the patient. The patient should be positioned so that the legs and hands are not touching. Crossed legs or arms, or interlaced fingers, can form electrical current loops that act as antenna for the RF energy. Local burns might result. Permanent makeup, tattoos, and tattooing on the body must be documented. Although this type of body decoration is not a contraindication, the patient must be informed that heating or distortion effects may result in the corresponding area. The same applies for other conductive materials, such as dental braces and body piercing jewelry. If the patient feels localized heating or burning sensations, the exam should be stopped. Provide the patient with hearing protection, headphones, or earplugs to safeguard against the noise level during the exam. When connecting the coils, ensure that the cables are routed properly and are not touching the body. While positioning the laser-like localizer, patients must keep their eyes closed. Patients receive a squeeze ball to hold. They can call for help anytime by pressing the ball. The exam can be interrupted immediately.